Hi, boys and girls. We are going to start reading for this week, and we are going to be reading a super popular book um, titled Chicka Chicka Boom Boom. This is the title of our book, and the author is down here. It's written by Bill Martin Jr. and John Archambault. It says, illustrated by Lois Erlert. This is the person who colored the pictures. Illustrators make pictures. And in our writing with Mrs. Brown, you guys have been illustrators and you've been working on drawing your own stories through pictures. And so we're going to see what Lois illustrated for us in the book titled Chicka Chicka Boom Boom. So I am going to start reading this story to you. Chicka Chicka Boom Boom. A told B and B told C, I'll meet you at the top of the coconut tree. Wee, said D to E, F, G, I'll beat you to the top of the coconut tree. Chicka, chicka, boom, boom, will there be enough room? Here comes H up the coconut tree. And I and J and tag along K all on their way up the coconut tree. Chicka, chicka, boom, boom, will there be enough room? Look who's coming, L-M-N-O-P. And Q-R-S and T-U-V, still more, W-X and X-Y-Z. <gasps> Look at the tree. Hmm. I want to talk to you about a strategy that readers use called making predictions. When readers make predictions, they make a smart guess about what they think will happen next. Sometimes the, the prediction comes from clues that are in the writing of the story. Sometimes predictions come from clues in the pictures. But readers do this all the time when they read books. And that is what you are going to do today. So in your e-learner folder, you received a packet. Um, it was behind your brown bear packet at first, and it had chicka chicka boom boom on the front of it. If you open up that front page, you will find another page that looks like this. I'm sorry my camera is not very clear today. Um, on the top, it says chicka chicka boom boom, and it says day one up here in the corner. But it says, readers make a prediction as they read. The letters keep going up the tree. What do you think will happen to the tree? Hmm. So you're going to use this box and you are going to color a picture of what you think will happen. Now, when you make a picture, you have to remember a few things about um, drawing illustrations. And first is that we don't scribble. And second is that we draw neatly and we make a picture that will help the reader know what you are drawing a picture of. So you're going to do your extra best. You are going to use lots of colors. Take your time and draw a picture of a prediction of a smart guess of what you think will happen next in the story. So go ahead and pause the video here and draw your picture. And when you're all done, then press play again and we'll continue with the lesson. Okay, so you should have pressed play now, and you should have drawn a picture of what you think will happen. So let's read the story some more and see what actually happens. The whole alphabet up the, oh no, chicka chicka, boom, boom. What happened to all the letters? Skit, scat, scoodle, doot, flip flop, flee, everybody running from the coconut tree. Mamas and papas and uncles and aunts hug their little dears and dust their pants. Help us up, cried A, B, C. Next from the pile up, skin knee D and stub toed E and patched up F. Then comes G, all out of breath. H is tangled up with I. J and K are about to cry. L is knotted like a tie. M is looped. N is stooped. And O is twisted, alley-oop. Skit, scat, scoodle-doop, flip, flop, flee. Look who's coming, it's black-eyed P. Q, R, S, and loose-tooth T. Then U, V, W, wiggle-jiggle-free. 
last to come, X, Y, Z, and the sun goes down on the coconut tree. But chicka chicka boom boom, look, there's a full moon. A is out of bed, and this is what he said. Dare, double dare, you can't catch me. I'll beat you to the top of the coconut tree. Chicka, chicka, boom, boom. The end. All right, we're going to read this story a few more times this week, and you'll get to listen to this story by a few other readers. But what you need to do in your video at the end of today is show your teacher what you predicted would happen and let us know if you were right in your prediction or if you were a little off in your prediction. But we want to hear about your ideas because this story could have had a different ending. Thanks for joining us for reading today. You guys are doing a great job. Keep up the awesome work.